data type is a field? <laughs> How is it analyzed? If it is analyzed, should it be stored? Should its value be boosted? In other words, is it more, the title field may be more important than the description field. You can specify that at index time or later on in search time, but uh, this is one thing that can be specified. Should it be searchable through all? This is a powerful feature of, of Elasticsearch. While you can uh, <coughs> talk to all of your, uh, to specify each field that you want to search individually, you can't just search across all fields uh, at the same time. And it will remember how it's been analyzed, uh, if that particular value is boosted, etc. Some query types. Here, this is the basic query type where we're matching all rows. Okay, so we can specify the number of, or the start row of the result, and how many we want to return. Here, we've got a specific sort order, while normally we would sort by relevance. Uh, the most basic query types, we're sort of sorting for individual terms. Remember, if, for instance, I put in a capital M there, it wouldn't find it because it's been analyzed and it's a lowercase m, all right? Prefix and wildcard are pretty self-explanatory. More interesting, oh, ranges, you've got numeric and alphabetical ranges. And the query string stuff is more interesting and more powerful. This is what gives you relevance. Field uh, query is a convenience method where you're basically saying search this field for these keywords. The query string uh, query is somewhat more verbose, but gives you a, a lot more options uh, and is one you'll probably end up using more. So that, that's simple ones which is saying search the all field for those keywords. But there are a lot of other things that you can specify, um, which I won't go into here, but they're in the documentation. Number of other ones, your Boolean queries allow you to combine various uh, optional query types. Uh, and, oh, custom score. Uh, you can use a scripting language to calculate uh, something that isn't actually stored. So your most recent results may be more relevant than results from a year ago. Fuzzy, more like this. Uh, oh, okay. Filters allow you to the results returned by the query. They're faster than queries because you, there's no need to calculate the relevance and they can be cached. All available on the website. Uh, oh, one on, it, not released, but in Mars on GitHub, that is geodistance. So you can say, give me all the results within one kilometer of this latitude and longitude. An example of the filter, I'm searching for anything that has people.name beginning with Clint and filtered by must have a tag magic and duration of 20 or 50 minutes in this date range. Facets have just come out in the latest version, which is 0.9, and then you can do a search and then ask for facets on that search. Uh, for instance, the most popular terms related with that search, which you can use to populate or to complete. A histogram, how many posts per week, so it divides it up into a number of buckets and counts, gives you the count per bucket. Various statistics, and also just uh, in master by distance from a point, and they've all, he's also just released, uh, you, you can filter by bounding blocks. So, you know, if there's an island and the sea in the middle, the fact that it's 10 kilometers away may not be relevant. <laughs> in the future for my model, uh, this was supposed to be ready for seat and I mean for Yak Seat, but uh, holiday got in the way. An SQL abstract style of writing queries, so uh, it isn't quite as verbose and full of uh, <laughs> curly brackets. We, we're using something like this in our uh, production code at, at work, but it's, it's not in a state to be released just yet. Different transport modules. To talk to Elasticsearch, I'm using uh, LWP, and it's quite slow. HTTP Lite gives about a 30% increase in speed, and I, when I, I profiled LWP, and about, uh, well, 
the biggest chunk of work was being done in head of passing or, or head of instruction, I don't know if you remember. So that gives you a significant speed boost. There's a memcached database, uh, which is very fast, but comes with disadvantages because uh, if you, for instance, if you put, uh, or if you index a document and you want to get the results back, memcached doesn't give you anything. So it's somewhat more limited in, in the information you get out of it. And I'd like to do an any event client, uh, which would be especially useful for indexing large amounts of data, because Elasticsearch can handle a lot more in parallel than we can throw it in serially. Uh, so a lot of the time you're just kind of waiting around. Uh, at the moment I'm, I'm forking off many children to do this, but uh, I think any of them can be a, a neat way of doing it. And if any of you are, I've never used it, if any of you are familiar with it and <laughs> would be interested in helping me out there, I would greatly appreciate that. Those are the URLs. Thanks for listening. I'm sorry I've rushed through it at a, at a huge rate. Uh, any questions? Um, so Elasticsearch sounds really interesting, but having worked with it for a while, what have been the main frustrations you've been having? Uh, one of the main frustrations, okay. Early on, because I've been using it since just after it was released, which was only a few months ago, but it's built on a, a lot of code that has been developed over the years. So this is, what uh, Kim Chia said is that this is kind of the new version of Compass. It's the new generation that has required a complete rewrite and it's standalone rather than being directly incorporated into your Java. Um, so early on he was using something called JGroups to manage the cluster and it wasn't very good. It, often the cluster broke up. Uh, he's now rewritten that using something, well, his, his own module called Zen, which gives much more stability. Uh, so one of the, the biggest frustration has been if when you're starting at the cluster, uh, the first node will retrieve the data from the gateway. Uh, then you start with the other nodes and it will retrieve from the master and or from an, another replica that it's got. Uh, and <coughs> because you're passing you know, seven gig of data over the wire. It would, the, the CPU usage would shoot up, uh, it would take quite a while to recover, minutes. You know. uh, in this release, he has done something rather neat where you, you can reuse the indexes that are in your workspace if they are still valid. Um, I haven't uh, I installed the latest version in Lightning because it only came out about a week ago, but I think that's going to be a big boom. It, it works very well, I've been really impressed with it. Uh, at the moment, we've got 
about 9 million documents indexed, and that's, we've got two Elasticsearch servers running, and that's really for high availability rather than performance. So one, one server's handling that fine. Yeah, it's a bigger server, but it, it, the response is quick. Thank you. Thank you.